Spike, Rose Luck, True Love by Switched Up. Spike every, every day, Rose Luck is at the market to look after her flowers and even talk to some of her friends like Lyra and Sweet Rose. But the most things that she likes to talk about is her flowers and her friends' happiness. She loves to make every pony in town happy, either with flowers or her, her kindness. Even she is much less happy, but it is at the same time in her heart, she isn't happy. Even she expresses her unhappy, but at the same time in her heart, it is sadness, sorrow. The reason why she is so sad in her heart, but act as happy. Her late boyfriend was, was leaving her for some other pony. They had been together for about five years, and they were about to talk about maybe marriage and get children. But one day, he just told her that he didn't love her anymore that he had found another mare which he loved even more. And that broke her heart, but she never mentioned it to any other pony except Lyra and Sweetie Drops, which they both know, and they promised not to tell any other pony about it. Even she wants to find her new boyfriend, but at the same time, most of the stallions in town were either occupied, or even married, or even engaged, or interested in someone else. So that narrowed down almost a net, almost no non-male pony in town. So she started to look in either out of towns like Manhattan, Frothingham, or Camden. But so far. Most of those dates she had met, well, they didn't work her type. Either they were other to, how to describe them, most of them were just selfish or either thinking about themselves, either just to make dating a beautiful mare, to make other mares jealous of them. So she stopped dating them and just looking her at the newspapers for maybe some ads for a speed dating. She even tried speed dating for a couple of times, but but none of those male stallions didn't caught her eye on it. So she's decided to wait and wait to see if her right stallion or the right special song pony for her would appear. Just a year and a half after her breakup with her last boyfriend, she had almost given up all hope to find a special something. Until one afternoon, when Spike, the baby dragon, came to her to her stand to buy some flowers to Rarity to her birthday, and Rose like think that Spike is very cute for even being a baby dragon, and she gave her some flowers which she could that he can give Rarity as a gift, but he didn't have much bits for it. So she told Spike she can give him for half of the price for this time, and Spike said things and said that her flowers was always as beautiful as they always are. Girls like could not stop admire Spike because he has been so brave and so kind to her lately, even since afterwards. He has often helps her at her place at her stand with some flowers when she had to do some errands. And of course, he did mind to help all of his friends with some even some small errands or small favors. But she wanted to pay her, her back to Spike, but didn't know how. 
So she often asked them, Lyra or Sweetie Drops, for any kind of advice for she, how she could pay back this prank. But they both said, just be kind to him. Or just give him some flowers or chocolate, anything. But those kinds of advice were actually were good, but she didn't want to give something else, something special for Spike. So, she decided to give him something much special. One day when he went to the market to buy some, some of the vegetables to back the council, he went back, passed by Rosalak, where she said, Hi Spike, hi Rosalak. How is the business going? Slow, but it's going good. And how's you? I'm actually good. Busy all day. Since Twilight is studying her new spells, makes me have to work some more. Shopping, taking care of the books, organize books, organize scrolls, and as much things that she needs help with. And that's another tire? Kinda, yeah, but I'm getting used to it. And after doing this for a long time, so yeah. And Spike was about to leave when she said, uh, Spike, would you maybe go out to me with the night and maybe I can cook you some dinner if you want? She was prepared for Spike to say, Things was like, but I don't have the time. But he said, Yeah, sure, I can eat some dinner with you. I don't mind. Great, I'll see you at uh, at 7? Yeah, sure, sure. Spy then left, and she felt a little bit more, uh, more happy and hard. Her heart was skipping and much of a beat, but it was also moving faster, faster and faster. And Rose like felt, for some strange reason, happier than she had in a long time since her last book. While she was working, she was couldn't stop thinking about Spike, and she was daydreaming about him that he saved her from a big, strong monster. And then she realized she had fallen in love with Spike. She didn't know that she could fall in love with him, of all her friends. Even he's not a pony, he's a dragon. And she didn't know if any of her friends would accept him as her boyfriend. But she would ask him if he would even date her, just in case for for any she wanted us to know. And later at 7 p.m., Spike knocked on the door and she opened. She served him some jams, some salad, and some lasagna, and they both had the most great time. They used talking to each other and then talked about basically anything they could come up with. Like some of Spike's old adventures, some of his meeting with other Aristelle ponies around Equestria, for the places that he had he has been to. He has been to Cell Arabia or and even Crystal Empire. She has never been so far, and she was interested to hear all the those stories. And then she asked Spike if he would date her for just for example. And Spike said Wow, that was an unusual question, but yeah, I would. Then she asked if if he would like to maybe go out with him, live with her, and she said actually, and he said, yeah, why why not? She took that as a surprise. Maybe tomorrow night. At say seven thirty, Spike was quiet at first at the moment, but he said, 
Yeah, absolutely. Can do that. And then they spend most of the evening together just talking, have some desserts. And next evening, Spike went to Rosalind's house, and when she opened it, he was stunned. She was wearing a red dress and a ribbon of it was blue ribbon her mane and he was really surprised to see her so very dressed up for an evening date with him. But he said that she looked very beautiful and she she used to blush and smile at them and they went to this restaurant that was recently opened. And they both had this amazing time. She couldn't stop smiling and looking at Spike at the third time, entire dinner. And Spike often asked, "Is something wrong?" "Oh, uh, no. I just, just happy that you went out with me. That's all." "Oh, um, okay." After the dinner, Spike followed with Roslak back home. And then she gave him a kiss as a thanks for the date. And Spike didn't notice that at first how much about her feelings for him. She didn't tell him. And just a few more days later on, they had went to a few more dates. And even then, Spike didn't realize. It. After he explained to Twilight what they are doing on their dates, and she said to Spike. Haven't you not noticed that she is in love with you, Spike? Are you serious, Twilight? Yeah, it is obvious, isn't it? She has smiling at you, been listening to all of your saying. She has kissed you on the cheek almost every time, and doesn't it give you any hint that she loves you? No, I, I didn't realize it," said Spike. And Spike then left the castle to process all of this. Even Twilight had said to him. And then, when he was walking, he didn't see what he went. He went straight to Roselight's stand at the market. And then he asked her if it was possible that she loved him. And she admitted that she did. And Spike then said, said that he didn't know it, that that he didn't realize it. And Rosalind took that as a bad news. But Spike said, "I just I didn't know that you loved me. I didn't realize it until now. And I kind of actually like you even more, more as a, more than as a friend," said Spike. Spike and Roselock stand there talking to Shatter, and Spike then asked her if she liked to go out with him tonight, and and she said yes. So they so they went out to this local restaurant, same first date they had, and afterwards they went to stroll, took a stroll through town, and end up right outside her home. And there she asked Spike if. If he loved her as well, Spike was quiet at the moment at first, but then he said, "Yes, I do. I realize now that I love you." Ever since Rarity found her special song for me a year ago, I didn't know if I will ever find someone on my own. Then she kissed him right on the lips. And Spike just blushed and kissed her back. From that moment, they became a couple. Twilight and her friends were just happy that Spike had found his special song pony. At first, Spike was realized no other ponies were even accepted first, but and he was right. A few other ponies in town didn't know if they would accept this couple. Since he's a baby dragon and she is a full-grown bear, but after some time, they all accepted that Spike 
actually really loved her so much, and that she has been so happy with him. She loved Spike more than her old, old boyfriend. And one day, one day when they both were out for a walk, she actually saw her old boyfriend with his new wife. And she saw him looking at her, and at first she felt sad because he could she could see him with his new wife. But then when she realized she has Spike next to her who has loved her as much as she loves him, and then just stopped looking at him, didn't smile, just well she smiled at him and nodded, and he nodded back, and they just continued on the walk. She didn't, she didn't bother if her old boyfriend is, if he tried to make her jealous because that, that he was married now but with someone else. But Spike didn't matter for her because she loved him even he's a baby dragon. And their relationship grows stronger for each day that passed. Most of her friends had, was very happy for her that she found her special song. Since they found out that her last boyfriend didn't treat her as much, just broke up with her, just that he didn't love her anymore, that he found another mayor, which he ended up married. But Spike didn't matter for her since then. He treated her as equal as she treated him. She gives him gifts, and she gives him gifts. And back and forward, they even celebrate each other's birthday, and even celebrate the first hearts evening together at the castle. Most of the next few months and few years that passed, Spike and Rose's relationship just grow stronger and stronger and stronger. Even when Spike was growing older and older, she didn't mind that. Because she loved him even more, and he became even more handsome for her than ever. When Spike was about 20 years old, he was very much handsome than before, and the girls like even realized it. But it happens that Spike one day left Ponyville to go to Dragon's Land, for at least a couple of days and to a few weeks at a time. But he always returned back home. Because he went there just to learn more about dragons and afterwards. He found his birth parents in Dragon's Land. And they both of us actually... His parents didn't know if, they were, if he would forgive them that they abandoned him or just gave him away. But Spike was... Actually, but a Paul gave forgiveness. He forgave them, and they forgave him, and they became a, a big family. And they were very well, much shocked that they found out that their son was dating a mare, a pony mare. But they loved him, even he they, since they realized that Spike loved Rose like so much. He even took after her when she was sick in the flu or any kind of signs under this or just a common cold. But then, after two year, two years after it has been to get, after twelve years, Spike proposed to Rosluck, and she said yes immediately, and they celebrated. Their wedding in Ponyville, at which Mayor Mayor actually performed a ceremony, and Spike had asked Big Macintosh to be his best man, which he accepted. And they celebrate their their honeymoon at Crystal Empire for about a week. When they went back home, Spike continued to work with. For Twilight as her, her first assistant, and Rose like at her stand in the, on the market. But just barely two years later, 
Grosluck told Spike that he was going to be a father, and Spike took that as a big surprise. And he was going to be a father to a baby girl. They named their girl, their daughter, to Rose Fire, because she inherited from her mother's red mane, and also that she inherited her father's fire breathing ability. And they both really didn't have so much strong feelings, were happy to be married with a true love and even have a, a daughter together. They were just so proud to be married with each other, even they didn't know if that was possible for them to be married. But that's how when Spike and Rosluck found their true love and got married and had a family. The end.